Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. Today I'm going to talk about the confusion surrounding autism and functionality levels, specifically the commonly used language of high and low functioning in autistic people. I'll also be discussing the variable nature of day-to-day -day functioning in autistic people and in people in general, and attempt to clarify why I think this is an important distinction to make and subject to understand. It's very normal to hear autistic people differentiated between high functioning and low functioning. From what I've seen, this distinction is usually based on whether the person speaks or not. Many autistic people dislike this method of differentiation though, because each side of the functionality coin has its own issues related to societal perception. Autistic people who are deemed low functioning have their potential discounted. They may be ignored or presumed to be lacking in awareness, may not receive adequate education, and are unlikely to be treated as equals. Autistic people who are considered high functioning may have their difficulties in comorbid disorders or sensitivities ignored or minimized by others, might have their perspective discounted and ignored by those who disagree with them, claiming they're not autistic enough, and may not be able to receive support due to the perception that they're high functioning. The binary perspective of high versus low functioning is used primarily as shorthand in order to communicate the perceived functionality of an autistic individual. What some people may not realize is that what we call function is inherently a multifaceted variable state derived from an amalgamation of a huge number of functional abilities. This is true for all human beings, not just for autistic people, yet non-autistic people are not separated by their ability to speak or by the other things autistic people are judged on. Minimizing the entirety of a person's experience with life into either being high-functioning or low-functioning is dismissive of who that person is as an individual. It is misrepresentative and inaccurate language which has very real implications for autistic people. The variability of functioning is further compounded by the variability of day-to-day -day life. Many autistic people have stated that they experience fluctuations in their ability to function on a daily basis. Some days they might be characterized as low functioning by others, while other days they would be referred to as the opposite. This is another example of the problematic nature of the binary functioning scale which professionals, educators, and parents commonly use. Simply put, a binary scale cannot fully address the complexity of the full range of human functioning. One may be wondering what my alternative is for quickly and efficiently communicating the functioning level of an autistic individual. I honestly don't know. The real question is this. Why is it important to be able to quickly communicate perceived levels of functioning? More and more we see that the outside perceptions of autistic individuals by non-autistic individuals is limited that there is much more going on within the autistic mind than was previously believed. We do not attempt to characterize others as high or low functioning, and autistic people don't deserve any less. If you are trying to represent an autistic person as high or low functioning, step back and ask yourself why. Are you doing so in order to discount their experience, or in an attempt to generate pity? Whose benefit is it really for? Please consider that carefully. Well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming by, and have a good day. Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, click subscribe. I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do gaming commentary and review. I talk about my experiences on the autism spectrum, and I share my opinions and thoughts on a variety of matters. My hope is that, through my videos, I can help to dispel some of the misinformation, confusion, and negativity people have regarding autism. Thank you for helping me do that by watching these videos.